Hi, Steve here. Many studies have shown that relationships and love are the keys to a happy and thriving life. And one way to keep our relationships healthy is to increase the number of positive interactions we have with people compared to the number of negative interactions. John Gottman studied married couples for nine years and found that those who had five positive interactions for every one negative interaction had stable and happy marriages, while those who had less than five to one ratio uh, wound up in divorce. Similarly, Emily Heafy and Marshall Losada studied workplace teams and found that those who had six positive comments for every one negative comment in a team meeting wound up having high performance teams, whereas those who had less than six to one ratio of positive comments to negative comments had lower performance. I haven't found similar studies with uh, friendships or with children, but I would imagine the ratios would be similar, 5 to 1 or 6 to 1, positive interactions for every one negative interaction. So you want to fill the emotional bank account of people. You want to fill their bucket. You want to really lay on those positive interactions and limit the number of negative interactions you have. If you do need to have a negative interaction, a conflict you need to clear, then you need to clear that in a good way. I'll have to do another video on how to clear conflicts in a good way. Another point I could make here is I think a lot of people imagine that they shouldn't have to work on their relationships, like people should just like them and invite them to do stuff. Well, it doesn't work that way. You actually have to do the work to make positive interactions happen and to, to create positive relationships. So some general suggestions for positive interactions, playing and doing activities together, small acts of kindness and thoughtfulness, telling someone what you love about them or what you love about what they've done, listening to them attentively and empathetically, being supportive, showing an interest in what's going on in their life, showing an interest in what they're interested in, and encouraging their interests, uh, and sharing your own life with them, and giving them hugs. I would also suggest that you keep a log of your positive interactions versus negative interactions with the people you care about. So each day you could record the positive interactions you accomplished for the day with that person, and this will keep the positive interaction, negative interaction ratio top in mind. And you'll hear this over and over in this channel, that it's a daily practice to be happy, to stave off depression, to create a thriving life. So that's going to do it for today. If you like this, you can give it a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. Comments are always welcome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.